right, let's play this in full here as a cycle. Shwa, 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 shwa. We have other views though, so let me just see. All right, yes, you're talking about knee pops. I can see that this assignment is mostly from this view, but let me just quickly check something from this view here. Okay, so what I would do before anything, because it's a classic thing to do this from the side, but what's missing, if you don't check the front, is the side to side of this. You can see here, let me just double check. Put a line there. Yeah, we're fairly close to this all the time. So you have to imagine that. I would probably also reduce this. I don't mind this going in. I wouldn't stay default, but maybe just a little bit. Because you need room for the ball to transit over for the weight shift. But if you're already this far in with the foot, then it's going to be like something really crazy. So I would take this. I do like this, though. I was going to say, usually a lot of people forget that in the front view to be offset. Offset as in uh, like a slight rotational change. Hold on, let me take onion skinning off, right? So you're here. This watch out. Almost feels like it's going to go and intersect. So watch out. This is not. It's really pivoting off of here. Feels like you have this higher with a little bit of a gap here into that, but it could be wrong. That's cool. The only other thing I would also say is this is a default um, rotation at zero in Y. So I would just bring those toes out a little bit and then one more than the other. You can see how straight that is. So imagine this might be here. We can see the backside just a bit more. But then the other one will be slightly more or less whatever. So it's a bit, you know, this asymmetry even on, on both sides. And then generally just keeping these a bit, maybe, maybe here. I don't know. Whatever that default is, let's pretend the default is here. You might like split the difference. Then once you have that, every time you go phew, as you go over, then you would have a bit more A movement translate over this way for the weight transfer. And then this ha doesn't have hips, but I think you can push that rotation more to make it look like well, there's all the weight is on this here, shooting up, that's that. We're not going full cartoony where it's like exaggerated where it's actually the other side like of that kind of walk. So I think that is correct to be like this, but I would just push that more. The other thing I would do, and I'm still not answering your question, but these are, these are things that will change your knee pops anyway. This forward move, besides the little move out over there, is fairly straight. And you could potentially go further with your outward swings, just a bit. Also, once you have, you know, your Y rotation, this foot roll, we will see more of it, um, you know, like that. Because this feels a bit too straight on and then we have that bend here so that Y rotation is going to help you but you might even have to have a little bit of a different peel off where maybe you know imagine if this is your knee out like like that it's a shin the foot peel off might be like this so you might have to sweep the rotation as you peel off there but again this is great that it's aligned with this so to me it's that the side to side a bit more in hip rotation bring the feet out a bit more but not default just put the difference so slightly bigger arcs this feels a bit fast Shoo, right there like it's right at the very end where you have the outwards arc it almost feels a bit too snappy there and that's going to change a bunch of stuff i can see your stretch here that you mentioned something i would also try in your in your step, he feels like, or it feels like it's walking, taking a step, and that's kind of it. And it might be interesting to just extend that foot even further. Not for super straight. I don't think you need anything super straight, but slightly bent. But a bit more than this. It feels just not enough. And then spacing-wise, well, watch out. You're here, and you shoot over right off the bat here. And then we don't really. And then we have the peel off in a way. That's what you want to do here. You're going to be here and you're going to stay here for a bit longer until the foot peels off. 
and then you got and you got that move forward and it seems like you have enough Y rotation going forward I think that's enough maybe like 10% more but the up and down is fine you can do a little bit more hang time potentially so it's slow on the up because it's there's effort and gravity slightly like maybe a frame or two more hang time hold so that the drop is a bit faster so slow fast right this is going to be slower it's going to be faster again the drop the gravity and also will accentuate for contrast because right now the up and down is a bit even but i'm also seeing like a slight pause is it here So you got to find a way to bring that up hang time and down, even just a frame or two, but still keep the forward movement constant. Because it's not like a special walk with a special forward translate, but there's something about, hold on, I'm turning on onion skinning here. When you go here, it is going to be a bit of a penny. Hold on. Let me expand this here. And then I shall drag this down here. So if your body is here, it's going to be painfully boring to watch. But just for my own sanity, there it is. There's a slowdown. And then there's a slight speed up here. Again, I don't mind contrast, but... It's tiny, tiny, but right through there, there's a bit of a slowdown. Again, it's fine to have contrast, but there's something in this when you watch this all. Where it feels like there's a sudden acceleration right through here, but you can't suddenly stop because again, the momentum is going to continue. So it just feels off to be fast and then suddenly slow and then roar, fast and slow. So it's suddenly fast, sudden pause, fast, sudden pause. And I will keep this fairly even. Because again, we're going kind of for a vanilla walk, as you're saying here. And I think that is that. I mean, again, all those changes are going to change your, uh, your, your, not that you have pops, but you're asking you want to extend this further. So this here so if you want to i mean you have to practice uh check out like raising the root basically if you want this to be straighter but again watch out for the timing that it because it's if you're going to go higher it's going to make this again faster you could again look out for your spacing that it feels still fairly fairly not even again i like that there's like contrast and the more, the more I watch it, the more I'm getting used to it. But there's a little bit of a slight, slight hiccup. And it's super minimal. But I would not worry about this. I would worry about this at the very end. I would get all to, uh, to all those changes first and see what that gives you. And you can always submit it then before you, you do a change to the forward move. Or you can still tweak that after you do it. All right. I think that's it. Actually, it's not. Hold on. I'm seeing a difference here. Okay, hold on. What is this? Is that the other foot? Is that what I'm seeing? It is the other foot. Okay. Sorry, I was looking at this, right? How that toe shoots forward or that foot. But then I was looking at the other one. You're getting off the ground here. You're going to have to keep this pivoting off of here. See that? There's a bit of a mistake there. It goes up and then suddenly back down again. So this is a nice peel, but here is a bit too high. Bring those toes down. But then you can still ease into this a bit more. Also silhouette-wise, I would separate that foot so you don't have an overlap here. And that will help you with the spacing too. Be a bit further back. And then that's okay here. Even though here, I will bring that foot further forward. So we don't have a tangent there. I know this is super Vicky, but might as well go frame by frame there. All right. I 
think I think that's that. Although we are slightly starting to second guess myself. One thing you can also do is move the the globally the ball forward a bit more. So that ever so slightly more in leaning forward. Just ever so slightly. So you're not so super leaning back. Again, super tiny, don't worry about this. This is like a second to last note. Or last note versus the forward translate. But that is that. Mainly to me, it's it's more the spacing of this and all the notes from the front view. And then we'll see what that gives you in terms of just overall, you know, pop changes or anything there in the knees. And again, feel free to submit in between. All right. That is that. I'm going to stop noodling. Let me know what you think. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.